Well, a new college study out applauds students using the gym. It found those who visit their university's recreation center weekly are more likely to see higher grades. So we decided to check our own area. Come to find out, Indiana State University has done its own study just like this one. In tonight's Education Watch 10, News 10's Patsy Kelly found out it's not too far off the mark. Recreational sports and intelligence. You wouldn't think they'd correlate, but come to find out, they go hand in hand. And that's according to an Indiana State University study. The more that someone used the rec center, the better the retention rate and the better their GPA. The university tracks students using the facility by their identification cards they use to check in. And we broke it down in levels based on how often students use the rec center. We went from no uses of the rec center to one to 15 times a uh, year to 16 to 30 times a year or 31 or more times per year. Officials can then generate a report based on GPA by using the student's ID numbers. And boy, was it good news. The freshman class, sophomore, junior, and senior class, those blue levels are levels of folks that use the rec center 31 times or more. They have the highest GPA. Now, we're not going to pretend that using the rec center means that you're going to get better grades. It doesn't mean that you're more likely to, re, uh, to uh, return to school. What it does mean is a center like this offers students a place to connect, be better adjusted, and be better physically, mentally, and emotionally. It's because of those factors students are more likely to do better in the classroom. But the most important thing... Getting the exercise and by getting the exercise that increases your your brain dopamine levels and those types of things that help you be more um, uh, attuned in the classroom. It helps you be more alert. Uh, it helps you uh, be a better adjusted. Creating better grades, better retention rates, better graduation rates. A win-win for both the university and the future professionals of the world. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Patsy Kelly, News 10. The university is looking into doing another of these studies to get a better idea of students this school year.